Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft, where in this video, I'll be making laser swords using command blocks. Laser sword. So right now, I'm in my test world, and right now my hotbar just is a bunch of sticks and netherite swords. But if I go into texture packs, and then go to uh, the lightsabers texture pack, now this is a modified version of just Tim's um, like lightsaber workshop texture pack, I think it was called. Uh, there's probably gonna be a link in the description. And if I now press done, then, uh, as you can see here, then I've got all of these lightsabers and their hilts. So I've got Obi-Wan's lightsaber, Anakin's lightsaber, Darth Maul's one-sided lightsaber, Count Dooku's lightsaber, and then finally my favorite, Luke's lightsaber. Um, so yeah, I've got all of these lightsabers, so then two of them are dark side and three of them are light side. Uh, and you're going to get these lightsabers uh, by throwing either six iron nuggets, one nether star, and two iron nuggets on the ground, uh, and then you're going to get one of the light side ones, and it's going to be completely random which one you get. Or you can place down a wither rose, and then throw all of the items on that block. And then, um, then you'll get one of the dark side items. So these sabers are absolutely amazing, and big thanks to just him for just making these models. Um, but I had to change the texture pack a little bit, because uh, in the original pack, you had to like re just rename any sword to, for example, like Obi-Wan Kenobi's saber. Uh, so then, you know, I had to change it so that instead of the name, it's the lore, which you can't get in survival mode. So yeah, it's like a little change, um, but yeah, like uh, the models are absolutely amazing, so yeah. Yeah, big thanks to the creator for that. And also, I think it looks really cool when you turn on the lightsaber. Like, that's so smooth. Um, but yeah, so now, I'm just gonna transfer all of these lightsabers to the command block world, and then also add in commands, so that you can actually get them in survival mode. Which, I mean, like, it shouldn't really take more than five minutes, right? Right? Alright, so now I've just pasted in all of these commands. Uh, so now, uh, when you press this button, you get Luke's lightsaber. This one gives you Obi-Wan's, this one gives you Anakin's, this one gives you Maul's, and then this one gives you Dooku's lightsaber. Um, so now I just need to make sure that you can actually get them in survival mode. Uh, so that's then when you combine, uh, was it like six iron nuggets, uh, two iron bars, and then one nether star. Then you get uh, one of the light side ones. And then if you do that, but on a nether star, no, on, an, uh, on a wither rose, then you can get some of the dark side ones. Now you might think it's a little bit weird to have the lightsabers cast that many materials and a nether star. Um, but like, come on now, they're lightsabers. Like they should be really expensive. And there isn't any was like uh, kyber crystals and stuff that isn't in minecraft so like n like nether crystals are hard to get and i mean they kind of look similar ish kind of not really so then i'll just go over here to my chair creation and then i'll copy this command block this command block and this command block and then I'm going to add the scoreboard lightsaber get LS for light side and lightsaber gets DS for dark side. Both of them are going to be dummy. And then now I'm just going to convert these command blocks so that they work with the lightsabers. Alright, so now I've converted the commands. So now if I throw one nether star, two iron ingots, and then six iron nuggets on this block. Then, okay, this time I got Luke's lightsaber. Now, of course, I haven't got the ignition down because, like, I'm gonna get onto that and I feel like that's gonna be, like, the hardest thing here. But now, if I make another lightsaber, then I throw one nether star, two iron ingots, and then six iron nuggets here. Then, I still get Luke's lightsaber because I haven't made the randomization yet. So, yeah, that's probably gonna take, like, 15 hours. I love my life! So, first, I'm going to add in this command, which just makes that the scoreboard always goes up by one. And then this command block makes that if the scoreboard is three, then it resets the scoreboards now as you can see by the sidebar there then it goes constantly between one two and three and then i'll add in asset a if the score of lightsaber get matches one then run summon in luke's lightsaber so that means that now uh, it's a one in three chance that it'll actually summon in and then i could just uh, copy paste uh, these four commands two more times so then make it so that then all three of the light side lightsabers will get like a chance of spawning in. So then I can just paste in another row and then change the matches one to matches two. And then change Luke's lightsaber to, for example, like uh, Kenobi's 
uh, Ken Kenobi's lightsaber. And then now I can paste it in for a second time and then just change the Luke for Anakin. Because Anakin is panicking, it doesn't have a planikin. Okay, so now it's finally working. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Uh, but now I just tried it four times and I got Luke's two times, uh, Obi-Wan's once, and then Anakin's once as well. Uh, so like, that makes sense. And as you can see by the scoreboard there, it constantly goes between one, two, and three. Uh, now there is still one bug. If I drop two iron bars there, uh, and then six are nuggets, and then another star closer to me. I kind of get a lot of items, but I at least know why it happens, because if it, for example, summons in a Luke's lightsaber, then if, if you're close enough to it, then it'll instantly pick it up. Uh, even though I put it here that, like, pick up delays minus one and stuff, then it's still, you still instantly pick it up. And then it sees, hmm, yes, all of the items are still there, because you kill the items after you've summoned in the lightsaber. Then it sees, hmm, yes, all of the items are still there, I guess I'll just summon in another lightsaber. And then it just keeps doing that, until one of the lightsabers eventually kills one of the items, and then you get all of your lightsabers. So now I'm going to move on from getting the lightsabers, to getting the lightsabers, but this time it's just gonna be like the dark side lightsabers, and it's basically just gonna be like the exact same commands, just with the, with the rows as well. And then I've just converted all of the commands, and it actually took way, way longer than I thought. Um, like, there was just so many things that went wrong, and also I found out, for some reason, I haven't actually taken in, uh, over here, I hadn't actually taken in the distance. So that you could just throw, like, a nether star there, six iron nuggets there, and two iron ingots here, and it would work. So yeah, I also had to fix that, and there's just a lot of bug fixes that I also had to do, but now I have a Mole's lightsaber and a Dooku's lightsaber. And now I can finally get all of the lightsabers in survival Minecraft, but now I just need to wait for them to turn on, because right now you can't actually do that. Um, so yeah, like, I think the way I'm going to do that is with, like, a slash trigger, um, because, like, yeah, I'm kind of used to uh, doing flash trigger commands, and I feel like it's cool, you know, you're not gonna be turning on your lightsaber in a hurry, or... I mean, maybe you are, you know, there's been a couple of moments in Star Wars where they needed to, you know, quickly turn on their lightsabers, like 50 bajillion times. But that's beside the point, so I want the slash trigger command, that's gonna be like lightsaber on slash off, and it's basically just gonna turn your lightsaber, well, on slash off. So, um, that's gonna also work with, like, any lightsabers, then it will work with Luke's lightsaber, it will work with Maul's lightsaber, it will work with any lightsaber, um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll work pretty well. So then I'll add in the scoreboard lightsaber on off. That's going to be a trigger. And then I'll do a command that executes as at A. And then if the score of at S lightsaber on off matches one. And then I'll actually go back to the as at A part just to add in this part, uh, which would detect if the player's holding a stick with the lore of Luke's saber. Uh, and then uh, run and then item replace entity at S weapon main hand with and then the Luke's lightsaber and then I just add in a command that resets the scoreboard and then I also add in this command lock which just uh, makes it so that you can actually do the scoreboard then if I do slash trigger and then lightsaber on slash off then nothing happens great all right so now a little bit later if I now do slash trigger lightsaber on off it works! It finally works! Um, now, yes, if you do it with multiple Luke Sabers, they all go into one saber, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a really easy fix. So the way I'm going to fix it is by not fixing it, because if you've got more than one of each every, of each lightsaber type, then, like, you don't really mind a couple of them missing, right? And that's totally not a reason for me just not to fix it. Totally not. Yeah, totally. Anyways, now I'm just gonna copy the two commands for every single lightsaber type, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so now I've pasted in all of the commands, so now with Obi-Wan's lightsaber, it works with Anakin's lightsaber, it works with Luke's lightsaber, it works with uh, Dooku's lightsaber, it works, and with Maul's lightsaber, it also works. Um, so yeah, now, this is really cool, I really like this, but it still needs to go um, so that it can actually retract. You know, if I do this right now, then nothing actually happens, and actually the scoreboard just stays like that. Can I... 
yeah, then it just becomes two and it bugs out. So now I'm gonna make it so that um, then one, if you're not holding a lightsaber, then the scoreboard doesn't do anything. And uh, if you're holding a lightsaber that's on, then it retracts again. So the command that resets the scoreboard if you're not holding a lightsaber just executes as um, at A if you're not holding a lightsaber. And then just if the score is one, then just reset the scoreboard. And then for the retraction of lightsabers, I'm just gonna copy these command blocks and then just paste them in, but reverse like so that instead of you getting the lightsaber and removing the stick, you get the stick and remove the lightsaber. All right, so now all of the lightsabers can be turned on and off. So then for example, Obi-Wan's lightsaber, Anakin's lightsaber, Luke's lightsaber, uh, Dooku's lightsaber, and Maul's lightsaber can now all be turned on and off. Um, now, you might notice that there's a little bit of an enchantment glint on these, um, but that's because I wanted it to make it so that they can't be enchanted. Because I noticed that if you enchant the lightsaber when it's on, then turn it off and then on again, then the enchantment was gone because then like you just get an entirely new uh, you just get an entirely new lightsaber so i fixed that first by doing repair cost 999 so now if i go in survival mode and then try and enchant kenobi's lightsaber with sharpness then as you can see there it's too expensive but you can actually still change the name which i didn't think was possible but yeah so now you can't enchant it like that but you can also not enchant it with uh, an enchanting table because then it has like no enchantments but my Minecraft thinks that it has an enchantment, but of course the side effect to that is that it's got the enchantment glint. And now everything is finally finished, you can get the lightsaber, you can turn the lightsaber on and off, it's got five different lightsabers and there's two dark side lightsabers where you need to make them in a special way, it's all of that stuff, it's finally finished, oh wait sound effects two hours later. All right, so now all of the sound effects are in, and now this is a lot bigger, um, but this is then how it looks and sounds. So when you turn on the lightsaber, it comes the block beacon power select sound effect uh, at just normal volume and 1.5 pitch. And like, this just really helps. I feel like the beacon sound effects are perfect for lightsabers. Uh, I use two other beacon sound effects as well here. Um, so yeah, it kind of just helps to make it sound more lightsaber-ish. And then it's also the block fire extinguish sound effect at 0.5 volume and one pitch. Now this is because like, I don't know why, but I just feel like this, uh, the fire sound effect sounds amazing for the lightsaber, like, on and off thing. Like, I don't know why. It shouldn't work, but it works. And then for when you turn off the lightsaber, it comes to block beacon deactivate sound effect uh, at normal volume and 0.5 pitch. Um, so, like, it kind of helps, I guess. I'm not too happy with the turning off sound effect. I mean, the both the turning off and on sound effects aren't the best, I'd say. But, you know, like, it works, okay? But then it's also the block fire extinguish sound effect again, uh, but this time at uh, at 0.25 volume and 0.15 pitch, or 1.15 pitch. Um, so, like, it's a little bit different than for when you turn it on, but, yeah, like, again, I feel like it just really works. And then it's also the ambient sound effect, which is the block beacon ambient at normal volume and normal pitch. Now, this isn't just that. It's also got a command before it, which basically just detects when the light lightsaber hum particle, uh, no, the lightsaber hum uh, scoreboard is at 2, and then uh, also if you're holding a lightsaber, then play the sound effects. Now, I had to create the scoreboard and it's just like a dummy, but basically it's like a timer, and that's what uh, this one and this one does. Uh, and then this one here uh, makes that then when you're not holding a lightsaber, then the sound effect stops. And then this one here also makes that the uh, ambient sound effect uh, also is there when you're holding it in your offhand. But this will then be everything for this video. And I know that I didn't make it that much. Like, it's just, okay, you get the sword and then you can turn it on and off. But still, like, what more could I really make? You know, like, there isn't really that much more to make. Uh, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, then just leave a like on the video, let me know. But yeah, that's gonna be everything for this video, so bye!